Yo everyone, so it is the end of January, actually what's today? It's today the first, today's the first of February isn't it? Pinch much, hee. <laughs> and yeah, so I've got my beauty favourites that are ready to be shown to you. I can't believe how quickly January has gone, it has gone super super fast and it is absolutely freezing cold at the moment. It wasn't this cold in December, it is really really ice biting cold and I'm really thinking of you guys that are in other parts of the UK which are snowed in and everything, all we've got is cold thankfully. Anyway, so what I'm going to show you today is a couple of things that I've really been enjoying this month. Some of you may follow me on Instagram, so you will already kind of know, and some of you may not, so obviously I'll show this to you now. So the first one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. My shade is in Cashew, I've been absolutely loving this. It does not budge, it lasts all day. I have used it with flash photography, it is amazing with flash photography and I've just really been loving this foundation a lot this month. Now another foundation I'm going to show you is the new All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation by NARS. Obviously I only did the review on this uh, yesterday and I know I did mention that it's sticky and it moves but aside from that I do think it's actually a really really good foundation. Unfortunately you just got to make sure you don't touch your face, nothing touches your face and no one goes near your face, any little swipe or tug or move and that is it. You know what, I've just taken off my nail polish, this is why they're looking a bit weird, and I just went like that with my hair and I went like this with my nail across my face and it actually left a line in my face, that is how delicate this foundation is. But generally, aside from that, it gives you a really flawless finish and I absolutely love it and I will link the review to both these foundations below. My shade, by the way, is Barcelona. I've also been loving this month the Jess Freestar Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Run. Again, I'll link my review and lip swatches video on this. This is just an amazing, amazing red colour. And it's just absolutely stunning and I love it. It's a great uh, stay all day liquid lipstick. Carrying on with the whole liquid lipstick theme, the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Vintage. An amazing purple shade and I love this. And then also the shade Heathers again by Anastasia Beverly Hills is an amazing burgundy shade. I've done reviews on all of these liquid lipsticks. I will link all of them below so that you can have a look in greater detail and I've done lip swatches as well. But these are the three that particularly stood out this month to me that as being my favourites. Another bunch of liquid lipsticks, don't hate me, I've just been wearing liquid lipsticks all month. I've hardly worn anything that glossy, which is just weird. My lips have been really dry as a result of it, but hey. Another one is the, I've got two from Bourgeois and they are the Rouge Edition Velvet Lipsticks. These are drugstore liquid lipsticks and these are, in my opinion, some of the best you can come across. My favourite ones overall are, are Stila and have always been Stila and I've used, as you lot know, loads. These are definitely second. I love how comfortable they are, how wearable they are. I love the fact that they don't cost so much money, they're easy to get a hold of, they're comfortable on the lips which is the most important thing, they are liquid to matte and they do come off slightly but not majorly, majorly so. The one that I'm wearing at the moment is called Grand Cru and it is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's an amazing red colour. It does come off slightly, it is not as perfect as the other liquid lipsticks, but it as, is as good as in terms of how comfortable it is, how long that it lasts on the lips. It doesn't give me that weird feeling that I can't smile that I've mentioned in uh, other videos, so I really, really love this. And then I also got this in the shade Happy Nude Year, and it's like an orangey pink shade, but it's more of a pink, I don't know why it's kind of showing up a bit orange on here. So I have been loving this. Another thing I've been loving this month, maybe not so much loving but I've been using it, is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. And the thing that I love about this is that it's got two different sizes of bristles. So it's got shorter ones on the top and it's got longer ones at the bottom. And it's just so that you can get different uh, types of length so you can use number one. It's 
it's got the number one written on it as well number one you do first to kind of brush all the entire mascara through your eyelashes and then you use side number two which is a little bit longer and that can give you volume and length so I've really been loving this this is the one that I picked up in Sephora when I was in Canada and I've only just got around to using it now because mascara is not really something that you get rid of that often and change up that much I don't anyway another thing that I've really been loving this month is this mineralizer blush from the max lightness of being collection and it looks like that it's just a gorgeous shimmery pink with maybe a hint of mauve to it and i've been reaching for it quite a lot you can see it's really pigmented it's quite shimmery but it doesn't emphasize pores and it's just lovely to give a nice wash of pale pink to the skin especially if you're like me and tend to wear quite bold lips or bold eyes sometimes it's nice to wear something a little softer on the cheeks to make up for it and then what else last but last but not least i'm sure you lot are sick of me hearing uh, talking about this is the morphe brushes jacqueline hill favorites eyeshadow palette which I got last at the beginning of the month. Looks like that. I've done a review on this. I've done two makeup tutorials with this and I have used this for the past week and a half. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wearing this every single day. You know that this has been loved more than most makeup that I wear. I always tend to wear different lipsticks every day. I tend to wear different eyeshadow every day, different everything every day. But this entire palette, I have come up with so many different types of looks. Plus it's just so easy to carry around when I go to the gym or whatever it is. I don't have to search for hundreds of different, different eyeshadows. I can just reach for this one. So I have been really, really loving this. So I think that is it. It doesn't seem like that much, does it? Quite a lot of lipsticks, but hey. So that was my January favourites. I hope that you're all great. I hope you're all amazing. I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you've got any more questions, let me know below. I know I don't get back to everybody straight away because I normally film and then I'm off somewhere. Um, but I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Follow me on Instagram. I tend to use that more than anything else because it's on my phone. And it's at Charlena. And I do my face of the days. This will be linked below and yes so other than that have a wonderful february and i will see you in the next video bye